Alive and alert on the north side of the dirty deacon man, D Real, coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where edutainment explains it. Um, I was going to go in one direction with a video that I was going to do today, but now it has turned into something else. Um, talk about terms. That 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 people throw around um, that sound made up to me, or could be said an easier way, versus trying to get your fifteen minutes of fame and coin some spanking new ass phrase. Um, also, got that on a haul. Yay, that is number four. Got that on a haul. Yay, number six. And of course, the haul wouldn't be complete without. This am player. I know y'all waiting for me to do my review on this chip. And I will. But first, before we do what we want to do, we got to do what we need to do first. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. The Be Real with D-Real page so the new material comes out, you get it. If you're digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Because edutainment is what I do. I won't be before you long. <laughs> Famous last words. Three terms that I hear a lot. They pop up a lot. They pop up a whole hell of a lot. And my first question is why. My second question is what for. And my last question is where they do that at. Okay. The terms I am referring to are misogynoir, superhero fatigue, and my favorite, forced hate. I've actually seen journalists use that one, not referring to someone else saying it, but saying it themselves. So apparently someone thinks it's a thing. Let's go and examine each one by one, and then I'll give you the D-real conclusion. First one we're going to talk about is an easy one. We don't get that one on out the way. That is misogynoir. Okay, as you can tell from the word, it is derived from misogynist, misogynistic, misogyny. Okay, but they couldn't stop there. You know, it just hate of women was not enough. They had to make it misogynoir. Okay, hate of black women specifically um and this is branched out to anything from uh, a lack of representation if you don't show representation of black women you are misogynoir um if your personal preferences or choices don't lean towards african-american women or women of color you are misogynoir and just general if you don't agree with the feministic women who made up the term misogynoir, guess what? Yo ass is misogynoir too. Um, I find it lazy to use catch-alls to describe large groups of people, especially large groups of people you ain't met, especially large groups of people you ain't ever talked to. How do you know this person is misogynoir? Because you feel offended by them? This person is misogynoir because you don't have an answer for what they're saying to you. And so the only answer you can come up is they hate black women. That's silly as hell to me. I don't, I don't get that. Um, hate should be qualified by what a person does and says not by what another person thinks 
How do you know I hate you? Because of what you're saying. Because you think what I'm saying is hateful towards black women, but you ain't took the time to do the research or even have a conversation with me or anything of that nature to determine whether or not I do or don't have <laughs> misogynoir. Okay. Um, best solution I can give to you is this. Don't assume. You know what they say about assuming. Uh, let's move on to the second one. Um, superhero fatigue. I hear this one a lot. Okay, let me tell y'all something. There is such a thing as franchise fatigue. That does indeed exist. People get tired of a certain line of movies. People get tired of a certain movies that have certain actors, certain tropes, like, you know, Friday the 13th movies were super popular. Freddy Krueger movies were super popular. Why we ain't got no Freddy, Freddy Krueger or Friday the 13th movies now? Is it because of horror movie fatigue? Nah, we ain't stopped making horror movies. There have been a crap ton of horror movies since the 80s. So why wasn't that horror movie fatigue? Halloween, we don't see that no more. Saw, that's all but did. So that means that's the demise of horror movies? Horror movies are over? We got tired of Halloween, Friday the 13th, and whatever movie you want to put in there because we were tired of that particular franchise. It had been milked for all it was worth. It had given us all that it could give us. Couldn't give us anymore. No matter how much they try, come up with different ideas, put different actors in the movies, do different things, maybe we're just tired of that. Maybe it's not superhero fatigue. Maybe we're just tired of what Marvel's doing. Maybe we're just tired of what DC is doing. Why don't we give Image a shot? Why don't we give IDW a shot? Why don't we give any number of studios a shot? You know, since the big two done showed that they done blow they load. You know? Ooh, bars. Anyway, um, superhero fatigue is not a thing. You know, um, somebody could make a superhero movie tomorrow and make a million dollars off of it. That has nothing to do with the genre of superheroes. I can watch superhero movies all day, every day. If, excuse me, if they had a superhero channel, I'd be rocking with it. So it's not that superheroes are a fatigue and we're tired of seeing superhero movies. We just tired of the same two mugs that keep cranking out superhero movies doing it. Stop or do something different. Stop doing the same whack shit that y'all been doing. Since the beginning of phase four. Okay. Last but certainly not least. Forced hate. That in and of itself. Is an oxymoron. Hate is not forced. Hate is learned. Hate is taught. I can force you to learn. How to hate. But I can't. Force hatred. What do I mean by that? I've seen a few articles. I've been looking all over for them, but I can't find them nowhere now. But it, particularly the Marvels, if you can find it, please let me know. Um, they said that one of the factors for the Marvels failing was forced hatred. Newsflash: a movie failing is a movie failing. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is failing like a mug right now. Um, I think one of the actors um, from uh, Ms. Marvel, from the Marvels, uh, the gal who plays uh, Kamala Khan's mom, she had said something to the effect of like, uh, you know, she felt like the 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 Marvels failed because of misogyny, uh, because of forced hate, these kinds of things. Why? Why? Why 
why would I? I want you to hate this. So can I come on my page and say, I need y'all to hate this for me. Y'all should hate this. Hate it. And I come on all week talking about y'all need to hate this. Okay. Um, recast T'Challa is not a forced hate thing. Recast T'Challa is an opinion. Recast T'Challa is a belief. Is what what the people like us subscribe to what we believe it should be. What we believe should be on the screen. It's not about you. It's about Ryan Coogler. Supposed to be about Ryan Coogler. No, Ryan Coogler's supposed to have the sight to see that people want to tell it. And your grief moment was your grief moment. You should get past it. Nobody's forcing anybody to hate anything. If I don't like it, it's because I don't like it. It ain't because nobody made me dislike it with their words or their actions. I've been not liking uh, MCU movies for a while now. So it don't have nothing to do with this movie coming out and bombing. That, that, that I forced or anybody else forced anybody to not like it. Stop it with the terminology. If the terminology don't make no sense, maybe it don't make no sense to me. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm the slow one. You know, that that that's not getting the sense that's supposed to be contained in terminology like this. All these terms that they, they serve to 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 garner unnecessary negative feelings. I don't need to be made to feel and I don't need to be to to make anyone else feel any kind of way about something. If somebody feels a certain kind of way about something I've said, it's because they want to, not because I forced them to feel that way. OK, I challenge anybody to force me to feel something. What do y'all think about forced hate, superhero fatigue, and misogynoir? Tell me about them in the comments. That's it for now, but fret not, I will be coming at you with another one of them other ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Be good to each other.